deep into an election campaign, Justin Trudeau in a tough spot. New allegations came forward very recently, and now Mr. Saini is uh, no longer our candidate. Questioned repeatedly about his former candidate, Raj Saini. Do you have any regrets about how you've handled this situation? Obviously, this is a far from ideal situation that we uh, no longer uh, have uh, any candidate in that riding. Um, there is going to be lots of reflections on what we could have, should have done differently. I'm pretty frustrated about the whole thing myself. Trudeau stood behind Saini for days and the government's process, but now says Saini withdrew due to information provided to the Liberal Party. He won't say what. For confidentiality reasons, I'm not at reason to dis uh, not at liberty to disclose uh, more of this information. On Tuesday, CBC News reported on four separate allegations, claims Saini made unwanted advances and inappropriate comments to young female Liberal staffers. That's pretty, I would say that's pretty devastating to me, knowing what I have gone through and that I've raised concerns over the last more than a year and a half. Saini denies any wrongdoing, saying the statements are unequivocally false. However, continuing my campaign no longer serves the best interests of my family, staff members, campaign team and constituents. But the Conservatives say this isn't over. They're calling for an investigation. I have questions about a culture of cover-up in the Trudeau government. It, it clearly extends to decisions they made about allowing candidates to run in previous elections and, and ignoring complaints from victims. The NDP says it's a failure of leadership. What this situation has shown with Mr. Saini himself uh, deciding to, to pull out of the race is again Mr. Trudeau not acting. This all comes at a pivotal time in the campaign. The leaders' debates later this week. Advanced polls opening Friday. The Liberals now down a candidate and still facing tough questions. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Vancouver.